Hi, I'm David. I'm Stacey. And we're from Leeds, England, and you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs. There's a little herd of dogs. It's a herd of dogs. It's called your pack, mate. We're pack. Yeah, yeah. Herd. Calm down there, buddy. Keepers. Hey, let's go outside. Oh, it's like a heater out here. Hey, guys. How's it going? Uh, it's already the afternoon already, but uh, we're starting to vlog now. My truck's been in the shop. I took the opportunity to mow the lawn before I left, so Britt has a nicer yard to enjoy while I go on my trip. We have to deliver those John Deere uh, farm implements or those uh, bucket things on my trailer. <laughs> the John Deere equipment. We have to uh, deliver it into Saskatchewan. I have six drops. Uh, where, I'm trying to remember where. Oxbow, Redverse, oh, where else? Rosemount, no, Rose. Port? Rosetown. Swift Current. Chauvin? Chauvinin? Chauvinin? And Maple Creek. I think that's three. Don't worry, it's just a Pepsi. I know you see like a can popping up here at the bottom of the screen. It's just a Pepsi. We gotta go trucking today yet. Okay, we can't go too crazy. This is my favorite, uh, favorite pop. Or, as our American friends like to say, incorrectly. Soda. It's pop here in Canada. Oh, so good. So I'm just letting the boys out here. Uh, the shop called me already, said that my truck is ready to go. A special thank you to PBX and Bloomin' Ort for taking care of it. Uh, they've been taking care of that truck for a long time already, so I'm continuing on with the previous owner's maintenance schedule. I'm excited to get it back. It's been the first service that I've done with it while it's been in my care. I asked them to wash it if they could after two. I don't know if they had time or not. It's nearing the end of the day right now and I need to get going. So I was already getting kind of worried that I might have to wait till tomorrow to get going, but they got it done. We'll see if they, if they didn't wash it, that's okay. If they didn't have time, at least I just need to get going today. What are you doing? Eating salad. Chevy, what are you doing? What are you, no, don't eat that. I see what you're doing. Ah, oh, yeah, he likes to eat the grass clippings. No, 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 Chevy. Every time you mow the lawn, uh, well, we don't really need a bagger. We'll just say that. We have him, and he's taught Diesel to do it. And Diesel's taught the little guys to do it. They all eat the grass clippings. And you gotta watch it, because, you know, a little bit won't hurt them, but if they eat too much, they end up throwing up. It's really annoying. I've had such a busy weekend with, uh, my account and everything here, that I haven't cut my hair or shaved my beard. Nothing. And it's beginning to show. We'll get to that soon. There she is. All serviced and ready to go for another 25,000 kilometers. I know that uh, last time I talked about that, I said I'd go about 30,000 kilometers. That's max. I talked to the guys at the shop and the previous owner, and uh, it's good to get the oil changed and do a service on the truck every 25,000 kilometers. 30,000 max. That would be 20,000 miles max or so, like between 18 and 20,000 miles get it serviced. It's all good to go again for about another month and a half. A service, full service on this truck cost me $658. Uh, that was also including there was a little bit of an air leak on my splitter valve at the transmission. They had to replace a little elbow joint. So it was about 600 bucks for a full service and that would be about every month and a half, maybe two months. It's not cheap running these trucks, but it sure is fun. I'm excited to get back in there and get going. We got everything set up. We got the bed set up back here. We got the cooler in here. 
I've been uh, cooling that thing down all day already. I have one of those power coolers. It's a good temporary fix for now for at least a few or several months. It does well. Plug it into the like a uh, the lighter cigarette lighter thing in the back, and it takes a little while to cool down. But once it is cool, it keeps my drinks like it's not ice cold, but it works for now, right? And while I'm while I'm in the shop, I can plug it into the wall in the shop just to keep it cool so that it's ready to go. In. Anyways, got everything ready here. We got my paperwork ready. I am uh, still a little bit on edge after this whole event with the channel. Just before I left here, I was receiving a whole bunch of messages. Uh, they had just restored my live video library to my channel. It's, like I said, it's taking 48 hours to restore everything. So they restored my, I'm hoping that they're gonna restore my playlist soon too. Hopefully by the time you watch this, my playlists are back. I have to email them about that. They told me that if anything isn't back within 48 hours, I should get a hold of them and they'll work on it. But anyways, my live video library showed back up. And in that live video library was still one of the, the scam videos from the cryptocurrency scammers, right? And uh, all of you jumped on that right away. I was immediately getting emails from all directions saying, Josh, the scammers are back! I was freaking out. I was, no! I was just about to leave on the trip. I got Old Blue serviced. Everything was going good. We had control back. I was like, no, not again. Oh, so I quickly logged in. I checked all my security details. Everything was normal. I checked to make sure there was no weird activity on my account. Everything was normal. Checked to make sure that there was any devices that weren't supposed to be signed in. Everything was normal. I, I signed them all out anyways. I revoked all access to everything, even mine. Just, whoo, locked everything down. And then I investigated. I went and looked at it. And yeah, it was the video that the scammers had posted when they were in my channel. And uh, it was just still there and it had just popped up again as it was restored. So I just clicked on it, I deleted it immediately, I sat there and watched until it was gone, and I checked about 3,000 times to make sure it was fully gone, and then I sat and I checked all my security details again, I'm like, man, I am like, a little bit on edge. Like I said, I got my antenna up all over the place, and I really appreciate all of you reaching out to me. If you do see anything suspicious on my channel, please reach out to me at truckerjoshvlogs at gmail.com, it's not connected to the channel, so... You if the channel gets taken over or whatever, you can still reach me there. Get a hold of me there and let me know something fishy's going on so I can look into it right away. And uh, hopefully we're all in the clear now, but you know, I, I, don't, I still don't know what happened. So I'm, I'm a little bit, a little bit on edge here, but uh, we're back to trucking, right? That'll make me feel better. That'll make me feel better. I actually felt better when I was at home because then I had Britt with me. Like I said, she's been my rock through this and now she's not here. Now I'm by myself. I didn't bring diesel width on this trip either. I'm just going into Saskatchewan and I've got a lot of drops. I've got six drops on this load behind me. So I didn't want to, you know, in and out of the truck all the time. Diesel's happy at home with his family. I, I let him sit out another trip. He'll come with me on the next one. So right now my mind isn't really, you know, I'm focused, but I want to be able to, uh, I don't know. I just didn't feel like it was good for this trip to bring him. That, that's my, I don't really have an excuse other than that. Next trip, next trip. But thank you once again to everybody who reached out to me right away and uh, let me know. Yeah, all is good. As of filming this, all is good. Hopefully it stays that way, right? <laughs> uh, so we're gonna be going down some two-lane country roads, going across southern Manitoba into southeastern Saskatchewan. So I reviewed Karen's route, and I believe, I believe she's taking me down Highway 3? So it goes from Highway 1, which is the Trans-Canada, the, the next road that runs parallel is Highway 2, and then Highway 3. Sort of makes sense, right? So we're just driving through Mitchell, Manitoba, which is sort of a suburb of Steinbach. Though if you ask people from Mitchell, they would disagree very quickly. They are their own thing. <laughs> it's a small town, it's very close to Steinbach. It's just uh, west of town. 
as you can tell, there's the setting sun. It's almost nine o'clock at night. And the sun is still up there. I wish we could keep it there, but unfortunately it is starting to slowly set further and further this way until in winter time, it'll set over there at about 4.30. It was a hot one today. 35 degrees Celsius and very humid, very humid. But I'll take it, I'll take it. No complaints here. the next morning if you haven't gathered that we went through one serious thunderstorm last night wow the wind was just flying all around electric storm lightning all over the place I'm here in uh, oh what is this town even called I've never been here before but we found a co-op card lock parking lot where I could stop and uh, I found this place on Google Maps before I uh, got it we're in Carn Duff in southeast Saskatchewan Carn Duff Yes, a uh, very, very hopping place. Small town. But just as I was pulling up town here, the uh, wind was just getting crazy and I was just thinking to myself, oh, I'm so glad I'm pretty much done my day. We can go and park now. And then my phone was like that little alarm system that it does for Amber Alert type things. I'm like, oh, what's that? And it's uh, sitting here on my, on my, my dash here, right? Pops up there. I look down on it and it's got big like, warning signs on it says tornado warning issued for your coverage area like, oh that makes sense oh boy but it was moving east and apparently i was through most of it already so i got to the parking lot here and it was moving that way and i'm going that way so by the time i stopped here it was petering out pretty much and uh Spent a little bit of time watching YouTube, TikTok, you know, going through my accounts, all my security and stuff like that, like, is my routine now. And uh, by the time I was, like, ready to put my head down and go to sleep, it was all over. It stopped raining, so it was no real threat. That wasn't anything. But there was a tornado warning, I can say that. The things you go through to bring people their freight. So I'll quickly give you a look here at what we're dealing with. And I deliver this in tomorrow's video. All blue here, we're parked on... Uh, side of this parking lot here and uh, that's the load six drops got to go to Oxbow Saskatchewan which is just down that way and you see all the town names are written on here these are going to Redbirds 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 I got to figure out which one's going uh going to Oxbow this is Swift Current that's Rosetown this is Maple Creek Maple Creek. Had to figure out which one's theirs. We'll do that in tomorrow's video with you. Thanks for watching today, everybody. Hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow. Gotta to start delivering this stuff. We're gonna get two of these deliveries done today and the rest of them done tomorrow.
No, oh, today for me, tomorrow for you get it. Say good night, old blue, or good morning, good night, say goodbye.